All right, here's a, a look down from the crest this morning. Olive Albuquerque in view right there, burning the thermometer out one more time here before monsoon storm chances come to the rescue here. Uh, it's going to be western and central New Mexico, the, the most favored areas for these shower and storm chances once they do start to kick in. The upper high right centered on New Mexico yesterday. It slid slightly east. Uh, we don't expect much in the way of heat easing yet today, but I think it will result in hotter temperatures in the eastern and southeastern part of the state. Uh, that monsoon moisture feed on the back side of the high, uh, feeding the moisture into, well, uh, eastern Arizona, maybe mainly western and northern New Mexico today. Uh, that moisture kind of wrapping in around that high, and you can see the scattered to isolated showers and storms of the heating of the afternoon. I think we probably get missed in Santa Fe, certainly going to get missed in Albuquerque up at 98 today. Roswell 106, a huge number. We were only at 101 yesterday, so this one five hotter. It'll be a new record breaker, hot enough for those heat advisors, Chavez County, also the middle Rio Grande Valley. One last time uh, that rain across the west and north will tend to wind down into and through the overnight. Uh, lows for most of us should drop below 70. Well, at least hold out some hope that we get down there uh, for our Thursday. Less heat in the forecast. 89 Santa Fe, 94 Albuquerque. Uh, still very hot though out east. Widespread triple digits again. Tucum carry Roswell Carlsbad. Tomorrow may actually be hotter than today in Roswell. Probably the hottest day of the week. Uh, those late day storms getting into central New Mexico. That's about as far east as they go. Looking ahead towards Friday. Well, taking a couple more degrees of heat out of the forecast. 87 to 92 for Albuquerque and Santa Fe and well, I suppose we could say we're down at 104 in Roswell, but that's still probably a record breaker. Uh, note the chance at scattered showers and thunderstorms into central and western and northern New Mexico once again, but Albuquerque in on that chance once again on Friday. Northwest New Mexico, Four Corners area. Uh, yes, these are daily storm chances, but it's just a slight chance at storms in Farmington today, and we're still up at 95, but we dropped the numbers uh, by a full 10 degrees tomorrow. More active here in northwest New Mexico Thursday, Friday, and then a step less active, but it's still those daily storm chances through the weekend early next week. Here's southwest New Mexico. 91 Silver City, about 100 or so off the mountains. Not quite as hot as yesterday. Slight chance that storms in play, and we do have these daily storm chances with tomorrow and Friday looking more active than today, and then the weekend probably less active than our Thursday and Friday. Here's southeast New Mexico, and uh, these are just uh, huge numbers. Ro uh, Fort Sumner, 100, 106, Roswell, 104, Carlsbad, Hobbs at 102. I, I believe for the next four days, the records for Roswell are 101, 102, 102, 102. So four days in a row here in Roswell, we do expect to break records, and then well, Sunday, we may keep it below 100 degrees. <laughs> Forecast highs 99, though. Northeast New Mexico, slight chance at an isolated late day gusty thunder shower, but it's not a great rain chance today. And uh, we're above 90 in Las Vegas one more time. We're just below 90 tomorrow. A uh, slight chance at storms kick us in. Uh, we do get in on these daily storm chances, but they stay fairly low Friday and through the weekend, even into early next week. North central New Mexico, uh, dry one around Santa Fe, across the high terrain, maybe an isolated gusty thunder shower. We still hit 90 in Taos, 93 Santa Fe, 97 in the Espanola Valley. Hey, we're finally below 90, just barely in Santa Fe going forward here Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, we'll continue to stay in the upper 80s with those slight chances at storms on a daily basis. And here's the Sunport at 98, triple digits for the River Valley communities. Record high at the Sunport is 99 today. We will be close. It's another heat advisory, weather impact day, but this the last one. Uh, 94 is still five above average tomorrow. We've got that 20% chance at late day storms, and then we're going to go with these daily 20% storm chances through the weekend and keep those high temperatures in the lower 90s, which is still above average, but not as hot as it has been.